Hi, this is Tom of the University of Iowa. I'm going to show you a useful technique when you've got a soft lens. And this is something we call the soft chop. And the idea here is that we're going to use the chopper and the phaco needle, but have no vacuum at all on the phaco needle so that we don't have to worry about punching through accidentally. So you can see we just positioned the phaco needle on top of the lens and just bore in just a little teeny bit. Same thing here. We're going to get phaco needle kind of low. We're going to support the nuclear material. We're going to go out and do this horizontal chop. We're going to come all the way to the left side of the phaco needle. And now we have used no vacuum uh, and have chopped this soft lens. And this technique is very useful because if you use a fair amount of vacuum with a soft lens, sometimes you'll bore through the soft nuclear material and hit the posterior capsule. And in a similar fashion, making a groove with divide and conquer can be dangerous because you can make the groove in the uh, most periphery and have it go all the way out and hit the posterior capsule. So we've now chopped this into several pieces. Now we're going to switch over to linear control of vacuum where we can just gently go up and just push down on the pedal just enough so that we get the piece to come towards us. We're using linear control and normally during this um, quad removal section um, I'll use a fixed vacuum but in this case we're going to use linear control so we have very very good control as we bring these pieces to the center. We need very little actual ultrasound. Uh, in this case, Ozil is very useful uh, for the uh, small amount of resistance that these um, soft lenses will provide to the phaco needle. So I'll tend to use Ozil in this situation. It increases the followability. But you can see how very, very precise control of the vacuum using the linear control is very useful. So just a little bit more to go. We could pull that second instrument out at this point. It should be fairly safe. But if you're going to have the second instrument in there, it's nice to have it so that it protects the uh, posterior capsule. So here we're going to um, put that second instrument so that it's posterior to where we're working so that we've got some protection of the posterior capsule should it come in. Or an alternative is just to remove that second instrument. This is Tom of the University of Iowa. Thank you.